1992 was known as International Space Year and was quite a year of ups and downs. The Space Shuttle Endeavour launched carrying three astronauts who successfully managed to repair a satellite, spacewalk together for the first time and then land again safely. It was a year of firsts for women in the UK, as Betty Boothroyd became the first woman speaker in the House of Commons and the Church of England allowed women to become priests for the first time. The first nicotine patch was available to buy for those wishing to give up smoking. DNA fingerprinting came into effect for the first time. Disney opened its doors in Europe for the first time with the new theme park Euro Disney in Paris, France, and the Mall of America opened in Minnesota, covering over 78 acres and making it the largest in the US. In the UK, Tory John Major was voted in again as Prime Minister and Bill Clinton was sworn in as President of the United States. His predecessor, George W. Bush Sr., met with Boris Yeltsin, the President of Russia, and the Cold War between the two countries was declared over. The United States and Russia became allies again for the first time since the end of the Second World War. Further endings occurred in El Salvador since after 12 long years the Civil War finally finished, restoring peace and in South Africa, it was announced that finally apartheid was over, with Paul Simon becoming the first international artist to perform there after the boycott. It seemed as quickly as we were celebrating the end of some conflicts, new ones were commencing in the countries of former Yugoslavia, such as Bosnia, Serbia and Croatia, and also in Somalia and Africa. In the UK, the government closed 31 out of 50 coal mines, leading to mass unemployment, and the royal family suffered a devastating fire in Windsor Castle and also announced that Prince Charles and Princess Diana would officially separate. Strikes, protests and blockades by truckers were in force in France, and it wasn't a positive year for California in the United States, as Los Angeles endured two strong earthquakes, as well as rioting, which lasted for six days and nights, taking the lives of 63 people. Mother Nature showed her anger in the form of Hurricane Andrew, which wreaked havoc in the Caribbean before reaching the coast of Florida, causing further deaths and destruction. And anti-mafia judges Paolo Borsellino and Giovanni Falcona were killed in two separate car bombs in Sicily. The world also mourned the passing of actress Marlena Dietrich, actor Denham Elliott, comedian Benny Hill, Eddie Kendricks of The Temptations, and one of the greatest flamenco singers of all time in Camarón de la Isla. In better news, 1992 firmly belonged to Spain as the country shone in the spotlight. The Olympics in Barcelona were a great success and Spain also played host to the Universal Exposition of Expo 92 in Sevilla in Andalusia. The European Community became the European Union as 12 European countries signed the Maastricht Treaty, including Spain, making it a full member of the EU. A tribute concert was held in Wembley Stadium in London for the late great Freddie Mercury and his hit with Montserrat Cavalli entitled Barcelona was once again popular for obvious reasons. Other popular songs of the time came from Billy Ray Cyrus with Achy Breaky Heart Boys to Men, End of the Road, Snap, Rhythm is a Dancer, and Whitney Houston with I Will Always Love You, the theme tune of the film The Bodyguard. It was a great year for Nirvana with their Nevermind album riding high in the charts, along with Natalie Cole, who had a virtual duet of Unforgettable with her dad, Nat King Cole. Jimmy Nail showed us that he had an amazing voice, as well as being a good actor, with his hit Ain't No Doubt. The stereo MCs were riding high with Connected and Step It Up, and R.E.M. had a hit with Man on the Moon, inspired by comedian and wrestler Andy Kaufman. There are YouTube links below for all the songs mentioned, should you wish to hear them. Thank you for listening.